Hey guys, it's Matt from matt-hickey.com photography here again. And today's episode, I want to talk about the Mamiya RB67 and in particular, the Prism Finder. So guys, this is the RB67 Pro. Uh, I know I've had it on a couple of the episodes now. Uh, really, really great workhorse studio camera that um, a lot of film studios used to use. Uh, it takes the 120 film in the back, uh, which you can just clip that off. I'll show you guys now. So, uh, film backs just <laughs> normally come off easily. So there we go. So I've just got the um, screen in there to protect the film from light, obviously. Uh, it just slots in there, two clips, clips it on, so it's relatively quick just to replace uh, cartridge in the, in the field. So uh, you can easily load up a couple of these film backs and you have a couple of different types of film in them as well, so you can get different looks, uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, but yeah, in this uh, video I'd like to talk more about this RB67 Prism Finder. So normally these ones, you have uh, a look down through onto the ground glass and uh, because it doesn't have the correcting prisms, normally what would happen is the image is reversed. So that can take quite a bit to get used to. Uh, you're constantly sort of going the wrong way um, so it's the way the image is inverted. But uh, the advantage of getting a prism finder is that it corrects that for you. So, it's flipping the image around for you before it goes onto the ground glass. So what you see is what you're looking at through the, uh, what you'd normally expect through, say, like a digital SLR. So this one, I purchased it off kh.com, um, and I'm in Australia, so it didn't take long at all to get to me. And I think it was, um, they have a labeling system like uh, excellent right through to average uh, or even poor quality. Um, I think this one was something like good, like middle of the range. And, and I've heard this from the KH guys before that uh, what I might consider good um, is, is pretty much poor uh, that they consider at KH. So this one uh, they listed as good, but I've got to admit, it looks like excellent quality. It looks like it's brand new. So, um, very pleased with the product. Um, very reasonably priced as well. Um, didn't cost me too much to add this to the system and it's just such a good upgrade to the camera. It's now something I can take in the field and, and shoot a lot more with, even though it is a really heavy beast. But, um, so uh, yeah, I love the, the Prism Finder system. Um, and find it far better to use than the uh, waste level finders that you normally get. Uh, super easy to replace on these guys. So it's just a button on the front and you actually slide the entire uh, Mamiya logo here and that comes up and comes away. So yeah, this is, this is what I purchased here. Uh, you can see some of the mirrors in there. Um, and yeah, just simply pop off the old one this guy slides on, just got to line it up, somehow, yep, lined up, clips in, as easy as that, so, um, yeah, super easy system, there's such a nice camera, they're just all component, um, pull everything apart, exactly the same as like the Hasselblads, um, they're just all compartmental and uh, you can, if you have an issue with your body, just pull your backs off, pull your lens off, pull your finder off, and you can just replace the body. So uh, really nice designs and these things. So guys, thanks for watching this episode uh, about the RB67 Prism Finder. Um, great addition to my old camera. Uh, a lot of the older medium formats will have a similar uh, Prism Finder that you can add to them as well. Um, so have a look around. I suggest have a look at KH for starters. Uh, see what they have. They have a lot of the old uh, medium format gear still and, and often in very good quality. Uh, otherwise, obviously eBay, places like that, a um, good way to pick up a, a cheap prism finder to add a lot more functionality to your camera.
All right, we'll talk again soon. Thanks.